G'day guys, it's Staff Sarge back, finally. Um, I had a minor issue with my joystick crapping out on me as I was uh, doing this mission, so I had to get a new one, and because Perth has a shortage of uh, El Cheapo brand, you know, the like, $30 joysticks, I had to order one in, so that was a pain. Talon oh, Industries has invested nearly as much on Vernkey as it has in the mech works on Talon. Pro Steiner militia units have been making aggressive moves against tactically significant sites. The communication relay at Garvin's Bend is one such site in need of defense. Steiner units are anticipated to mount an assault in force shortly. Okay, so after we've taken back the uh, the depot, now we have to go to Vernke itself, defend another supply depot. Uh, sorry, communications array, my bad. Uh, they all come in from the west. It's a nice simple defense mission, so it's firepower heavy as opposed to maneuvering. So the Atlas Sploicer, uh, which is the same load as before. Got the Black Knight, which I've read out with light PPCs and Ultra AC2s, which I don't think I've taken in any other mission, I'm not too sure. Previously I think I had assault lasers on it. Mad Destroyer, which is the Old Faithful. The Mad Cat Fever, which is the new one. Uh, this one's swapped out. It does have as many LRMs, but it does have ER la lasers. ER large lasers. There we go. And uh, I'm hoping the pilot will uh, keep it on ripple fire because uh, those... It's called fever because it'll overheat pretty quickly. The Mola is the same. The Novacat is a new mech, actually. I haven't run one of these before. And it's rigged out. A Novacat is a laser mech, primarily. Uh, that's what it does really well. So I put it on large continuous beam lasers which are fantastic and I put them in two separate fire groups so I can fire two at a time or all three at once two at a time it shouldn't overheat I'm hoping but yeah this should be all good uh, someone actually asked a question why don't you do a mech with the bombast laser for like um, Solar or something they don't actually have the bombast laser in here uh, they replace it with the large continuous which I think is a good trade-off the Nados is the same and then we have the Thor slash summoner which Honestly, this is with this is with the high def pack, and it just it just looks wrong somehow. No matter what color scheme I put it in, it's just I don't know. So screw you, we'll just go with Federate Suns. Uh, it's called Guarded Mallet because it has all the LRM, so it's basically a more tanky uh, vulture or mad dog. It's been too long since I've done these videos. I apologize. That's my force. All heavy mechs with a pair of assaults just to uh, up the firepower and hopefully the survivability as well. So it's all very simple. Just need to get to the deep, get to the communications array, defend it, and try not to die. That last point, uh, on a couple of occasions, um, it's a little hard to the do than you think. just ahead of you at Nav Point Alpha. The calm relays and base HQ are mission critical buildings in this defensive operation. Protecting the outer vehicle bays and fuel tanks is a secondary objective. Roger. Moving to Garvin's Bend main station. Novacat looks... I don't know. So, it's primarily a static defense mission, so you need firepower, but you do need a bit of speed on your mechs at the start. Or at least on your mech. The reason why is because of that. Before things kick off properly, uh, they send in a rating force of Peregrines and Nightwings. Must come down. Acknowledged. Looks like they nearly beat us to the punch. Engage and destroy. Be advised, Spectrum. I show another squadron of choppers moving in from the north. One thing I'd, that they could have done better with the large continuous, I don't know if they could do it with the engine, but um, in MechWarrior 3 with the pulse lasers, they were actually, you know, you could swing them around and actually hit stuff. In this one, it's just a really fast firing pulse laser, which is unfortunate, which is why I failed shooting down those Peregrines. So you just need to be a bit fast to get to them before they do any major damage. Target destroyed. After that, it's as said, it's just more of a static defense mission. Target and destroyed. Shooting at choppers destroyed. is just Target destroyed. the middle of a firefight is actually kind of fun, but at the moment it's just you know just plinking them out of the sky at range. Target destroyed. Although at least the night winds do take a little bit. Peregrines die if you Target so much as scratch them. Peregr night winds. Need a bit of firepower. Chopper's Another interesting destroyed. note is that when the choppers go down, like they go down from very little firepower, up and but while they're me. going down, Roger. Roger lead. Roger six. you can't actually damage them any further. You can't just instantly destroy them in the air. You have to knock them out of the sky, then they crash. So we'll just hold the line here for now and wait for their main force. Wait for the main force. 
How you doing, Gator? I have them in sight. There we go. Pick them up on SATCOM, sir. They must be mounting ECM. Must be a forward scout, Lance. Let's send them packing. Attack your closest target. Copy. Copy. Roger. Roger. Okay, so the first regroup um, with the main body, most likely. I want a firing line that was at fast. Map Point Beta. Prepare to repel main assault force. So what happens is the uh, the scout lance just comes in first. If you knock down one of them, then they make a run for the hills. And that raven's just asking to die. Damn it, Gator! Close up and form now the next on part, uh, they Roger recommend to form up a Roger. Bravo. Now that's actually a very good idea to follow. Because Bravo, as you can see, is a nice open plains, uh, good field of fire. So you've got long range weapons, you'll be able to hammer them as they make their approach. And he's out of range now. If you try and pull back to Alpha, uh, try and use the buildings and maybe static defenses if any survive, then what can ha happen is that... The same as with most defense missions, the enemy will pour their fire onto you, but if they miss, then there's a chance that the buildings and the buildings will explode and then mission failure. Take out and the here designated comes the main force now. Copy. Take out the designated target. Roger lead. Roger Which is where it gets interesting. Roger lead. You called it, sir. I show three full lances moving on your position. Add in the UCM lance and call the company. Time to earn those pay vouchers, people. Aye, sir. On pouring on the fire, Warning. and I'm still trying to figure out how to use this new joystick. That's my excuse for uh, for not being able to aim. One catapult, two catapults. Target is no longer targets destroyed. Attack your closest target. Roger six. Okay, so those reeky mechs uh, just run in and die. I mean, distract some of your firepower, I guess. So the main force. She said it was three companies plus the recon. Sorry, three lances plus the Riki lance. That's a fuck ton of mechs. It's primarily, uh. Okay, from memory. It's, uh, two Thanatus, which we're tangling with. Maybe she maybe they got the numbers wrong, because I'm carrying two Thanatus, one of which we just knocked down, the two Catapults, which are both down. Uh, there's also a pair of Arguses. Which are the biggest threat around? It's the tornadoes, to perfectly honest. Ow. And, um. Okay, yeah, if I take one more hit, this is gonna. Yeah, this is gonna go bad. Serpentine. Fuck it, run! Oh, yeah, and they also have a pair of atlases in the mix as well, which is why you want a soul mechs. I mean, they've got a lot of firepower to start with, and with two of the mechs being atlases, yeah, that can go all the way bad very, very quickly. I mean, most of them you can knock down with some concentrated fire, even the Thanatus and that. But Atlases take a lot to bring down. And I lost... lost the Mauler the Thanatus? Wait, when did I lose the Mauler? I don't know, I'm getting distracted. So at the moment, it turns into nothing more than a brawl. You meet them out at, um... You meet them out of Bravo, they can't get into the factory because they're busy engaging you. There goes the Thor, I'm overheating, I'm getting hammered. Gator yelled out Eureka for some reason. I'm trying to run Serpentine and it's not working. But, and there goes Claymore again. I mean honestly, this could be going worse, this could be going a lot worse. Uh, the last few runs I've had, because you're facing off against such heavy firepower, either you'd fight for a long while and then you take too much damage and die, or on a couple of occasions, somehow, the enemy would, the enemy would amass firepower against your company, and they would, um, you know, tear them to shreds. And just wade through the water to try and get a bit more heat efficiency, which is always a good thing. There we go. So at the moment the it's more or less target. a fair Roger, fight. We've got copy. one at we've got two atlases remaining. We've got an awesome. Okay, yeah, that's three full lances, one of which is full of assault mechs. M from my count, three atlases and an awesome. And I don't want to kill him because Hannibal's right there with my atlas. No, he's all good. Roger. Roger. There you go, we're down to one awesome. 
Keep on. Oh crap, he's heading for the factory. Oh wait, no, there's a, still a health spawn. Roger, lead. I'll just have Bulldog take him down. Shouldn't take too much. And apparently there's actually... The lasers aren't... Uh, have a little bit of time delay. Roger, six. Roger, Spectre. And now the excitement's over. Once again, it's back to clean up duty. So he's okay, he's okay, he's been fucked up. Swear to God, if I. It, it, uh, uh. My most expensive mech has just gone down. God damn it. This is gonna be. Ex this is an expensive mission. I mean, okay. So the first piece of advice uh, if you, when you're playing this mission, don't do what I did. Actually spend the money. Get a good number of, uh, of assault Let the little ones go. They can warn off the rest of their friends. It'll that. save you money in the long Target run. Eliminated. Excellent work, Commander. I'm posting a mission report to Merknet. Callan Industries will be very pleased. It's all about customer satisfaction, Castle. Roger. The relay station has confirmed all vital buildings survived the assault. That was a tough fight, sir. You yeah, pulled you tell us me. through admirably. Okay, so we're definitely in the Davion camp now. We got a good, uh, an okay amount of salvage. We lost a bunch of mechs, and well, at least nobody died. And we got the pay packet, so I mean, we kind of made a. Hang on, wait, we got plasma cannons. Nice. I I don't think I'll be using them in the campaign, but in Solaris, those uh, those come in handy. Plasma cannons are like super PPCs with all of the downsides that you generally get. So yeah, that's um, that's my pay packet and more, just repairing my mechs. I mean, at least I'll be able to sell some of them off for some profit, but I'll still need to buy replacements, and I'm down to have, and, uh, I'm down to four operational mechs. I'm down to four mechs I can actually take into combat at this time. Which of course means before the next mission I'm going to have to go shopping. I mean, at least I'm pretty sure we've got all the mechs that we can get at the moment. Um, the shops are full of everything that you'll get. Not to say that you, they won't be more... S what am I saying? Um, I'm saying that you won't get any more types, I believe, but over time, you know, it will restock it. So you can buy stuff, you can lose them, then they'll get more. We're down to a D- minus because of all that damage. But I mean... We're not doing too bad. I mean, we've knocked out 230 mechs over the course of this game. That is a lot. And we've salvaged about half a billion. Man, if I wasn't... If that salvage wasn't being used to just go out of missions and blow up, as it seems to be in these fast few, I'd be seeing a lot of dosh. So there you go. That was the Vernkey mission. The only mission to take place on Vernkey itself. The rest are all on Talon. Next time, we'll be returning back to Talon for the final Davion mission. Uh, which I'll probably be running a bit more assault heavy. The like I, said, I I want to get more life out of my heavy mechs, and I want to do it Davion style, which is you know more combined arm stuff. Like the Steiners are the guys who do the assault. Speaking of, that'll be the mission after that. But I'll fill in more details with that when we get to the next video. So until then, I'll see you guys around. Operation Twenty One's mech of the mission is Capellan Chasey, the Hella spawned RVN Three L Raven. First built early in the 31st century, it was originally an electronic warfare testbed when the fourth succession war against the Federation Sons began. With nothing to lose, House Leo decided to rush the design into production and push it into combat, where it helped give the Capcom forces the advantage thanks to its ECM suite. By the time the clan invasion had begun, the Raven's design had been finalized with reverse-engineered lost tech, which included the entire electrical warfare system, a Guardian ECM, a Beagle Active Probe, TAG Artillery Designator, and a NARC Beacon. Since it's designed to function as an electronic scout and support mech, all of this gear is heavily used and what space is left is given to a light self-defense loadout, two medium lasers and an SRM rack. Most revised models follow the same logic, though some try to improve their direct combat performance. The Dash 2X is a Davion modification of the original version, with a large laser and extra armor, while the Dash SS is an updated Dash 3L, replacing the NARC beacon with a streak SRM. Both of these saw service during Operation Bulldog with the first Davion guards. The MechWarrior 4 version doesn't actually exist. No Ravens were kitted out with LRMs, instead opting for reliable short-range defensive weaponry. 
Easy Money, they wanted to get more use out of the Narc Beacon, so they gave the Raven pilot the ability to paint an enemy and then immediately go to town with guided long-range missiles. While it should actually be used as a force multiplier with ECM, the reality of the system means that it's actually best used as a light missile boat ambusher, with extra engine power to run like a bitch when all the ammo was gone.